This tutorial will deal with hyperlinks and it will start off by introducing the four different types of hyperlinks and the two main elements that must be included in most hyperlinks. Um, so first of all, what are hyperlinks? Well, hyperlinks are links from a web page to another resource. That other resource could be another web page, which is the most common type of hyperlink. It could be to an email address. It could be to um, somewhere within the same page, or it could be something to um, to any other element that you can um, reach on your computer. So hyperlinks are obviously an integral part of any website. So we'll just start off by introducing the different types of hyperlinks and what we're going to be looking at here, okay? So uh, first of all, the two main elements of a hyperlink are you need an anchor, which means a place to, normally a place to click on. Okay? And you normally the hyperlinks or the anchors are designated by um, blue text, sometimes underlined, and when you move your cursor over it, it turns into a little hand that you can click on it. Okay. Um, the second element of a hyperlink is a target. In other words, a place that you go to once you've clicked on or initiated the hyperlink. Okay, so as the, the PowerPoint shows here, uh, the hyperlink can open up pages either within the same um, window or in a different frame or a different um, window altogether. Okay different tab as we know it. Um, does the actual hyperlink, does the target have to be a web page? No, it doesn't. It can be any element. It can be a, a link within the same page. It can be a link within other pages. It can be other resources such as a PDF or an email address or a video or an Excel sheet or anything like that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a page. It could be anything that you link to. Um, over the course of the next few tutorials, we're going to start dealing with the four different types of four different uh, concepts to deal with links. First one is an internal link. Now, an internal link is just simply a link within the same page. So it's a, where the, the, the actual, um, where you click on a hyperlink within a page, it'll bring you to some other place within a page. This is a very common one, um, not as common as it used to be, but a very common element there. And we'll have a look at that first of all. Um, then there's links to other pages. Um, these could be pages you've created yourself or pages that are created by other developers. Um, uh, this is the far, by far the most common type of hyperlink. Then there's links to other external content. Now this is any other content which isn't the web page. So this is anything such as, um, as I mentioned earlier, an email address or a PDF or a video or a Word document or anything at all that, that you can uh, use on your computer. Then the last section that I'm going to look at here is link structure. And this is just simply where do we locate our content? Um, it's a very simple concept, but a very important one. So we'll, that's the fourth one we'll look at. This tutorial will focus on internal links alone. Um, so we'll start off by looking at these. OK. And um, what is an internal link? Well, very simple little idea here is where you have a menu which brings you to another location within the same page. So when I click on, we'll say the very first element up here, the anchor element, uh, which is number one in the table of contents, it will bring me to another location further down within the same page. So we can click on it here and it brings me to the anchor element. OK, this is a very common, um, very common scenario. OK. As I said before, this is not as common as it used to be because our pages are, aren't as long as they used to be, but it's still very common and uh, very simple to create within uh, Expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to Expression and see how this works within the Expression environment. OK, now, as I've mentioned here with Expression, um, it's very simple and this is the page that we've been creating for the last number of weeks. OK, and we can see that we have a number of different elements along along here, uh, going from introduction to headlines to font lists, uh, tables and links. What we're going to do is we're going to create a very simple table of content up on the top of this. So turn a few times here, put in a um, menu up here on top and align it to the left hand side. Now, below this, I'm going to put links to introduction, headlines, 
font, etc. from there. Now, this is a very, very simple thing to do. What we're going to do with this is the first part of this is that I have to highlight the word that I want to link to, which is, in my case, the target. OK, um, I only highlight the word itself. I don't highlight spaces before or after the word. So I highlight it then take my hands off my mouse and um, then I go back and right click that and hold right click and hold. When I right click and hold, I still got my finger on the right click button. When I move my cursor up, you'll notice two things occur. First of all, um, on the bottom of my cursor, you'll see a little hazed out rectangle, meaning that I'm in the middle of copying or linking to something at this point in time. The second thing you'll see is the actual curse marker over here, just under menu at the moment. OK, and as I move up, it'll show me where where it's going to place my link when I let go. OK, so I want to place it here underneath menu and I just simply let it go. When I let it go, it gives me the option to move here, copy here, link here or cancel. What I want to do is link here. So I just simply create a link like this. OK, it creates a link from here. So when I click on this, it'll bring me to the introduction. Not very exciting in this scenario. It's just beside it. But um, you'll see how useful it becomes in a minute. OK, so that's my first link. I'll show you how it works by just clicking on the preview in Chrome here. Here's my web page in Chrome. When I click on introduction, introduction goes to the top. So that hyperlink is working for me. OK, so I'm just going to shut this down and go back and I'll just create very quickly, another three or four of these. OK, so introduction is my first one. The second one is headline. I do follow the exact same steps. I highlight first stage is I highlight the target where I want my link to bring me to. I, I let go of my mouse, then I come back, right click and hold and then move my cursor up. This time it's not visible on the page where I'm going. So I just move my cursor right to the top of the window and it'll start scrolling up along um, and where I find my location where I want to put it, I let it go and go link here and then press return again. And I'm going to move down to my next one, which is font. So it's very straightforward, very quick. I like the word font, right click and hold, drag up to the top of the page. Scroll up to where I want it to be, let it go link here. Press return and keep moving on down along. Same with lists, right click. Drag it up along. Let it go. Link here. You'll notice in every one of my cases here, um, my target has an underline on it. So as soon as I create a target, you can see that this is actually what it's doing is creating a bookmark within the page. OK, this is not visible in Chrome. This is only visible in expression to show me that I actually have a bookmark on that. So I'll just move down to the next one here. This. Able, same thing, highlighted, right click and hold, drag it up to the top, let it go, link here. And finally, I'll create one for links as well. So let's move down to the bottom one here. I like just the word, let go of my mouse. Right click and hold, drag it up to the top. You'll notice when my page gets quite long, it, uh, it takes a bit of time, but you just have to bear with it. Let it go and link here. Now I've created all my hyperlinks down along here. I'm just going to preview them in the browser. Chrome pops up there. See my links in here. I know it's a space in, I'll get rid of that in a minute. But as you can see here, introduction, it goes to introduction. Headlines goes to headlines. Just testing them all. Font goes to font. Lists go to lists. Tables goes to there. And then finally links goes to, it brings it to the normally to the top of the page. But in this case, obviously there's not enough content below links bring that to the top of the page, but it focuses on that. So what we're doing there is we're creating an internal link linking to what's known as a bookmark within the page. 